Lesson 26. 26th Lesson. Comments on Lesson 25. Irregular Verbs. Continued. In Lesson 25 there are some more examples of the past tense of irregular verbs, e.g. I came down Bond Street. I thought the dresses were very nice. I bought these clothes in Bern. I got this suit in Savile Row. I paid 30 guineas for it. The other new irregular verbs in the lesson are cut, where, write, no, take, leave. Present tense, past tense, come, came, think, thought, buy, bought, pay, paid, cut, cut, bring, brought, where, or, write, wrote, no, knew, take, took, leave, left, tell, told. Verbs. Regular, irregular. Verbs and nouns. In lesson 25 cut was a noun. I didn't like the cut of the dresses. Here it is as a verb. A bad tailor can never cut a suit well. In the same way dress, address, thought, can be nouns or verbs. Examples. A. She always dresses well. Verb. B. Her dresses are very expensive. Noun. A. Please address this letter for me. Verb. B. I don't know the right address. Noun. A. I thought that the dresses were very nice. Verb. B. Hob gave us another, great thought. Today. Noun. But note that the noun, suit, and the verb, to suit, are quite different in meaning. A. I bought this suit at a good tailor's. Noun. B. She looks very nice in that dress, it suits her very well. Verb. Clothes, cloth, cloth, pronounced cloth, is a material, e.g. that is a good piece of cloth. Make a suit from it for me. The tailor cuts the cloth. The tailor makes clothes, pronounced clothes, from the piece of cloth. Note that clothes is always plural and takes a plural verb, his clothes are always very good. Light. In lesson 15 you had the word light as an opposite of dark, e.g. Frida's hair is light brown, Jan's is dark brown. On page 188 light has quite a different meaning. There it is the opposite of heavy. Light, heavy, light, dark. The possessive case. In the sentences, did you see those dresses in Harridge's? I got this suit at Bernard Hall's. I must go to the tailor's for my suit. We use the S here because the word shop is understood, i.e. in Harridge's shop at Bernard Hall's shop. So did I. In lesson 17 you had the construction. I get up at half past seven, and so does my husband. In lesson 25 you have the same construction in the past tense. I walked here, so did I. Pronunciation drill. Revision. Face. Family. Figure. Fight. Right. Night. Bright. Fire. First. Friday. Friend. Fruit. Gaiety. Go. Gone. Grey. Guinea. Exercises. Exercise 1. Completed the following. The first one is done for you. Infinitive. Past tense. Past tense interrogative. Past tense negative. To see. I saw. Did I see? I didn't see. To dance. To come. To know. To understand. To go. To speak. To do. To think. To buy. To drink. To pay. To get. To wear. To say. To cat. Exercise 2. Make the following sentences negative. 1. Hob answered all the questions. 2. The boys and girls bathed in the sea every day. 3. Lucille bought a new dress. 4. I drank my cup of tea. 5. 
The boy took the letter in his hand. 6. The cook made breakfast early in the morning. 7. The students went to Mr. Priestley's house every day. 8. The waiters put the cups on the table. Exercise 3. Put the following into the past tense. 1. He comes to the class every day. 2. She goes to Paris for her new dresses. 3. You do that work very well. 4. Frida sometimes sees nice dresses in Harridge's window. 5. A good suit lasts a long time. For the answer begin, my good suit. 6. Jan thinks a lot about his work. 7. Pedro buys his suits in Savile Row. 8. I know the answer to your question. 9. They understand everything that we say to them. 10. I believe what you tell me. 11. The tailor cuts the suit well. And so I wear it for a long time. 12. He can't understand what you say. 13. Jan pays £10 and he gets a good suit. 14. Frida writes the letter and addresses it to her sister. 15. I see the trees of Hyde Park when I go to the window and look through it. Exercise 4. Use each of the following in a sentence, a as a noun, b as a verb. 1. Dress. 2. Address. 3. Cut. 4. Thought. 5. Suit. Exercise 5. Make the following sentences interrogative. 1. She danced from 7 o'clock to midnight. 2. Frida played tennis very well. 3. Those letters came to England by aeroplane. 4. They saw the boy swim to the big rock. 5. Pedro went to a good tailor for his suit. 6. Hob knew a song about London. 7. Lucille bought a dress in Paris. 8. The students went to the museum yesterday. 9. They saw many interesting things there. 10. He understood the lesson very well. 11. Hob thought that the lesson was too long. 12. The students sang their song very well. Exercise 6. Make each of the sentences in Exercise 5 negative. Exercise 7. Make questions to which the following could be answers. E.g. number 1 is an answer to the question. What did he pay the tailor for? You can have two or three questions to some of the sentences. 1. He paid the tailor for the suit. 2. Pedro wore his new suit. 3. Hob told a funny story. 4. Lucille came to London in a car. 5. They all understood the lesson. 6. Lucille came here in her car. 7. He said that he liked learning English. 8. They saw Lucille in Paris. 9. Jan did his work very well. 10. The boys looked at the aeroplanes in the sky. 11. Hob went to Helen's wedding. 12. Tom saw Helen in the garden. 13. The artist drew the picture. 14. They all understood the picture. Exercise 8. Put in the word omitted. Frida's hair is light, but Pedro's is. When the sun goes down it is quite. One book is quite light, but twenty of them are. Exercise 9. Write the story of the men and the chair. P. 155. In the past tense. Begin. Yesterday Mr. Green and Mr. Brown were walking in the park. They said. Thank you very much for the likes, and subscribe to our channel.